Hi, I'm Chris McLaughlin and today we're going to write together, but before we start, I just want to take three deep breaths, just clear our minds, let go of any stresses. So if you feel comfortable, close your eyes, and we're going to breathe in, and out, and in, and out, and in. And great stuff. Open your eyes. Amazing. Cool. So today's prompt is your muse. So um, if you don't know, the muses were Greek goddesses of inspiration in the the sciences and the arts and the humanities. Well, yeah, be literature. Um, and they would come down and they would grant people inspiration and ideas, and that's how people would write, and that's how people came up with stuff. Uh, so the Greek myth goes. Uh, I'm wondering what your muse is. I think muses can be a bit tricky to define because I think if we put too much stock in one thing, when that if that thing inevitably goes or you know we can't we don't have it with us right now, then we can blame not being able to write on not having a muse. But I think we've seen over the last few weeks, you know, this is writing prompt number thirty. A lot of it is just sitting down and writing, you know. Uh, so I don't know, but I do believe that you can have a muse as well, and that can be very inspiring to you, but I don't think that's all of it. Anyway, let's let's skip past this bit. What I'm trying to say is, what inspires you to write? Why do you want to write? What's your muse? Is it to change the world? Is it to feel more like in line with yourself? Is it because you like the exercise for your hand? That's a weird one, I don't know why I said that one. I'm just trying to think of bizarre examples. Why do you write? What's your muse? That's what I'm asking you. Cool. Alright. So, we're going <laughs> to... That was a long introduction, that one. Uh, we're going to write for seven minutes. As always, if you want to write a poem, perfect. It doesn't have to rhyme. If you want to write a short story, or a journal, or do some scribbles on a page, or a little doodle, or crack your paints out and do that, and whatever you want. I'm, honestly, as long as you're creating, it's all perfect. There's no judgement here. Alright. Cool. Right. So, grab your pen and paper, or your work, open your Word document. So we're going to write about your muse. Or I'll write my, my muse, you write about your muse. Um, and we're going to write for seven minutes. So, when you feel comfortable, we're going to start writing. Do I need to close that window? Be right. Um, <laughs> we're going to start writing now.
and you're about halfway through. Got about one minute left. If you finish the line or idea that you're on, <clears throat> great stuff. Come to an end. Well done. Well done for writing. Um, which can take three deep breaths first and foremost. Make sure we cleared our mind off that in case anything came up. So if you feel comfortable, close your eyes and we're going to breathe in and out. And in and out. And And out. Great stuff. Well done. Great stuff. Cool. Amazing. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, cool. Before we get into the writing, I just want to say, uh, today is day 30 of 30. I haven't really made this a very... Um, it's in the introduction a little bit, but not really to all these writing prompts. Uh, I'm actually doing Project 30. I've been doing a course with a, a channel called Yes Theory. It's an unplug. Um, and it's really, it's really helped. I'm really enjoying doing it. But part of the thing doing it was Project 30, where you do 30 videos in 30 days. So we're technically we're at the end, but don't worry, this isn't going away. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to put up an update tomorrow when I've had a little bit more, or the day after when I've had a little bit more of a think. I might take it from every day to like three times a week. I'm not sure. We'll see. If you have any strong opinions, let me know. I'd be interested to see what you, um, and any feedback. Anyway, it's actually just a little bit of admin. Let's get into this. So, uh, news. I would. I cannot tell you how much I'm desperate to hear about what you've written about this because I think everyone sees writing so... Uh, not everyone, but a lot of people see writing so differently. There are people who really think... You have to be inspired. You have to be, you know, touched by a goddess to to be able to come up with that master idea. And there is something to that of, you know, there are days when everything just flows very easy, I think. I'd like to know, let me know if you have the same, that some days you get it quicker than others. Other days I sit down and I can only write poop <laughs> for the whole day. I could write for 17 hours in a row, or I could write for 10 minutes, or I could write any amount of time. I could change my location, all of it is just poop. Um, so, <laughs> but I often find with the sessions like that, what usually happens more than just writing bad stuff is there'll be something in there I can take away and it might be the germs of an idea and I think we're doing the work to get to Muse days maybe. I'm not sure. Tuesday. Mm, interesting. I'm not sure. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, I'll read you what I wrote. I'd lo genuinely, I'd love to see what you thought about inspiration and that sort of thing. I think it's so interesting because we're all writers and we're all on an equal level here. I'm not. There's no like hierarchy in this kind of project. I'd like. I can learn so much from what you're from what you think about things like inspiration. Anyway, I'm too into it. I'm talking too much. You can see. So um, share any. I'd love you to share any lines in the comments below, uh, or to share the whole thing, or just a couple of words or whatever. But I'd really like to see what you wrote. Um, I'll share mine today. Um, <clears throat> cool. And the working title is um, The End of Muses. She <laughs> See, she slips in, unseen like night over the Arctic. Her cloak of flame swirling around her bare feet. Little steps on the marble floor as she walks towards me. Her palm open against my cheek, tears cleaned. She says, right. And I say, not for you. You who would leave me so easily in the morning. You who would fill my head with other people's thoughts and feelings. She sighs. The flame cloak falls away as she turns, as she turns to walk away. And I sit down, unsure, <laughs> on a desk with a space mat and a bumblebee mug and a Japanese painting I just really like and absolutely no ideas in my head. And I turn to you and say, hi. <laughs> I'm Chris McLaughlin, and today we're going to write together. <laughs> and we find our own paths. And we find our own paths instead. <laughs> A little bit there at the end there, maybe. <laughs> right, okay. Cool, I feel like this is going to be a long one, so I'm going to start <laughs> shutting it down. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed reading everything you've done. I've really enjoyed the last 30 days. I'm going to keep this going in some, uh, in a major capacity as well. I'm not going to, I'm, I'll have a little think and I'll get back to you. Please leave comments, let, let me know what you think. Um, really, it's for you and it's for me. Don't get me wrong, I get a lot out of it too, but um, it's to suit everyone, you know? So let me know what you think, how often you'd like it. Um, cool. Have a great day. I hope you're doing really well. Well done for writing. And just in case no one's reminded you recently, you are definitely enough, okay? Have a great day.